Saks Fifth Avenue is not moving to the Kenwood collection. And that leaves a lot of questions about the fate of the site at Kenwood and also the fate of Saks downtown. Local 12's Paula Toady went shopping for answers. It was last November when Saks signed a letter of intent to explore moving from downtown to Kenwood collection. Today's announcement could say a lot about downtown. It's now hopping with people like Mary Bunker. We just recently moved downtown. Uh, we're empty nesters and Cincinnati is such a wonderful city with so much going on and to keep a business like Saks downtown in the future I think will be very good for Saks. Doug Bolton, managing principal at Cassidy Turley Commercial Real Estate Services, closely watches the changes in the tri-state and says keeping Saks downtown probably makes sense and keeping it in the region matters. Just from a tourist convention, I mean, you can, you can say come to Cincinnati because we're the only metropolitan region in the Midwest that has a Saks Fifth Avenue except for maybe Chicago. So that is alone a coup for Cincinnati. Phillips Edison and Company, the developer at Kenwood Collections, says the deal with Saks just didn't add up. Mayor John Cranley told us the city did not offer incentives to try to keep Saks, and while he's not sure Saks will stay, he's hopeful. Saks probably wouldn't be willing to play such hardball for a good deal in Kenwood if it wasn't willing to at least stick it out in Cincinnati for a few years. Bolton believes Saks likely wanted to see a commitment by a certain date of other premium retailers before it would have moved to Kenwood. Katie and Patrick Edmonds say they would have shopped either location but like what they're seeing downtown. I think it's fun to have places like that downtown bring people back to the city. Now, Saks hasn't commented on all of this, but again, for background, Saks has had $8.5 million in incentives since 1993 to stay right here. We know that's not the case this time. As for Kenwood Collection down the road, a spokesperson told me late tonight that you can expect the project to continue and be a lifestyle center, kind of like what you see over at Rookwood Commons, but maybe a little more premium. Reporting live from downtown, Paula Toady, Local 12 News. Paula, have you heard or do you know if the stores that are currently at Kenwood Collection, like, you know, Container Store, Crate and Barrel, those places, are they going to stay where they are? Actually, I have heard that they are doing very well. So I think very well gives you an indication that they probably would in all likelihood stay. It's just what's going to go around it little in question. Yeah, still up in the air. All right, Paula Toady, thank you. And Kenwood yeah. Collection also has a section for office space, and three new tenants have signed leases to open next year.